All right. Your main event for the evening is five two-minute rounds, and it is for the WBC Light Flyweight World Championship. Your judges ringside are Blair Moore, Sam Maxwell, and Paul Buxton, and your referee, Mark Stone. Now, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 48.76 kilos, fighting under big out of Phuket singer Thailand, with 33 wins and 11 losses. Please give it up for Celeste. Hansen! And her opponent fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 48.69 kilos, fighting under Chris Johnston out of Militia Muay Thai, Queensland, Australia! With 32 wins and eight losses, put your hands together for Kim Lil K Townsend. For the last time tonight, Y Crew Ramoy. All right, we're off. This is going to be a battle of speed and power and technique. That's it. It's such a great weight to watch. They're so fast. I was I went up to film Kim for our, our, some of our promo videos. And I'll tell you what, she hits pads harder than most dudes. I yeah. Think. And she's one of their legs. And she bashes the boys at that gym. She's terrifying. <laughs> she's so scared. And Celeste is the number one in the world. That's right it. Now. First female to fight at Lumpini Stadium. Yeah. What a um, huge honor. <laughs> huge. Absolutely huge. Against a very tough tie. So Kim's, Kim's been all over. Kim's been fighting Thailand. She's been in New Zealand a few times. She's been in Japan a few times. All around Australia, Perth, Sydney, Melbourne. Um, she's the real deal when it just comes to Muay Thai. She's Absolutely. just head down, focused. If she's not training herself, she's training other people. Um, she's got a great corner there. Yep. And then you've got Celeste, the, the Aussie girl living over in Thailand. She's a stadium fighter, but not only that, she's been hardcore Muay Thai. She's been on Super Champ. She's, yep. she's been moving around ever since she first went over there and had her first fight from the WMC Lamai in Koh Samui, where... I lived over there and that, that was Jim for two years. So oh, cool. um, she started there, had one fight, and then she went on over to Phuket and she's just been fighting nonstop. Yeah. And this is the first time she's actually fought in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> I was crazy? I was searching, I was looking, I just there was nothing because she um, went over there and had her first fight fairly quick and then that's just been it for her. And I mean, in amongst that, she's not just fighting the Thai girls, she's getting the foreigners. Mm. Yep. Um, she's getting a mixture of both. Right, ladies, five two minute rounds, full tie rules for the WBC World Championship. Nothing to the back of the head, back of the neck, the spine, or the groin. If your opponent goes down, don't strike her on the ground, go to a neutral corner until they tell you to come out. Ladies, protect yourselves at all times, follow my instructions, touch gloves, love a fair, clean fight. Best of luck. Both of these girls definitely absolutely mean business. There is a world title on the line right now. This is so exciting for both these girls. They've worked very hard to be in this position and both really deserving of it. Yeah, absolutely. With Kim, we can expect a lot of speed, a lot of power. And with Celeste, she loves the clinch. That's it. And being in Thailand for all that time, that's what I would expect. Yeah, absolutely. And she's been clinching with the best. Yeah. So this is going to be a very interesting matchup of wits here and styles. And it'll be interesting to see how the game plans change when they see what each other have got. That's it. With experience level, at, you know, 45 fights amongst them, they're going to be smart. I want Kim's abs. 
<laughs> Incredible act. Low kick straight off the bat. Celeste looking back for the teep. Again, low kick again from Kim and a teep of her own. Peppering away at those legs. Kim good with the leg kick into the teep. Yep. And Celeste just looking to keep her distance away from her, looking to teep the leg there. Uh, Kim just peppering away at that leg. Again, nice movement outside, looking for that outside leg kick. I set it up with her hands now. The kicks won't phase Celeste at first, but if she's not going to start checking them, they will wear very fast. Yep, absolutely, yeah. There's only so many you can have. And there she goes. She, she heard you. She checks that one. <laughs> stepping in there, looking for that long guard, and Kim just stepping to the outside for a round kick. Nice little punch combination to set up an inside leg kick from Kim. Mm -hmm. Celeste just sort of w walking her down, but not having a... A lot of answers for her, and, and Kim's just sort of just peppering away. Neither one of them showing a ton of power immediately. But those leg kicks will absolutely start to hurt over time. Kim's just doing a really good job of setting up combos, and there Celeste now coming in with her hands. I like Kim going for that inside leg and the back leg. I'm a big fan yeah. of hitting that back leg. Nice little combination there from Kim. Right. Celeste, Celeste, good body open from there. The, from Celeste. Here she finds herself inside the clinch. Nice knees there from Celeste. And back there. Good, from she's just pushing Kim out. Yeah. Kim just trying to find that lock on there. Good, Celeste coming Couple in with those hands. There. Kim yeah. just still attacking those legs, but Celeste's got those hands in there. Yeah, Kim not too phased, intelligent to get herself out of that corner, and they just move off. Good opening round. Good first round. Yeah. A lot of action straight up, but these girls are incredibly fit. You know, they can do this for days. I think the only similar set of abs we've got in this room right now is Jade to Jade and his kid. <laughs> uh-uh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was coming. Oh, here there we go. We go. There oh, it is. No. I called it the whole night. <laughs> we got some MTL budgie smugglers on. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me. Never trust a man with Velcro. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's seen it all. He's left a real hairy hair tie on him. Where did that come from? I don't know. The dick stickers weren't that big. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Kim looking super, super relaxed so over there, relaxed. but so Looks Celeste, funny. like both the girls. And they've got these two minutes to recover now, so they're just going to take their time. So for Celeste's side, I would definitely say she wants to start checking that kick a little bit, yep. trying to check and counter back. I like her style of kind of marching forward. I like her to see her just check and yep. then step in and look for some of those. She knees. uses those teeps well as well. She's just yep. trying to stop Kim with those with the leg kicks and that just by teeping at the legs. Second yes. down. And the, the teeps are having their effect, so fake the teep one time and step yep. in. But Kim's but got that power in those low kicks. And, then, and she's got some incredible combinations she's putting together, just very fast and very sharp hands. See Celeste when she comes in, she's um, sticking out her jab, but she's crossing that right hand across her face, so she's trying to protect from whatever Kim's going to bring through. Yeah, she's looking for a long guard there, and the long guard is effective uh, as long as you've got it very tight with the opposite hand, because you can open yourself up for uppercuts on that side. But she has got quite tight in there, and she just definitely loves to just walk forward, doesn't she? And Kim's playing a smart outside game here, just picking her off combinations and strikes. Nice right hand there from Celeste. And both girls clinch up here. Celeste looking for a Supergirl knee, pulling Kim back, but Kim's very strong here. Both girls strong, pulling down on Kim's head, and she's doing the right thing here to keep her hips in. Kim is not 
folding under that pressure from Celeste and keeping her hips in, striking back on Beautiful. Her. Both girls have got nice. great style in the clinch. Absolutely. Very good style in the clinch. Celeste just throwing some punches on the way out, and Kim having a go right back. Nice inside leg kick. Oh, she loves these rips, Celeste. She's landing a couple of these nice body rips. It's teeth there from Celeste, and Kim working again to the outside leg. Kim just fighting off that back foot. Yep. Beautiful knee. It can be exhausting when a fighter is, is tracking you down like this. It's just constant, relentless pressure. But Kim is counterfighting very well. She's just keeping her combination strong and sharp. And Celeste, just like a Terminator, walking That's straight it. forward. It's knee on the outside. Another knee on the inside from Celeste. Knee for knee right now. Both girls jockeying for position. Ten seconds. The ref breaks them up. Celeste just unloading some punches. Nice tight guard from Kim. A little teep on the outside. Celeste, Celeste just being relentless on that hunting forward. Yeah, she really is. She is just absolutely marching forward. You can tell that that's what she wants as she's looking for those elbows. Having an interesting tactic here. Her job right now is just walking forward, taking what she can. She lifts those knees up nice and high so Kim can't tell if it's going to be a teep, if it's going to be a knee. Or, that's it. And she's just walking her down. So it's keeping Kim on the back foot, which is making Kim work a little bit harder. But Kim is still countering very effectively that's off it. the back foot. A lot of people oftentimes watching a fighter like that think that Kim would be overwhelmed or in trouble, but this is a very very technical style of Muay Thai. They That's it. the back foot, fight from the outside and counter strike. But it is a lot of pressure from Celeste just walking forward, which can make her tired. I'd like to see Celeste let go with her hands a little more the way she has been. And again, like I was saying, sort of fake that knee strike as she's doing, but then capitalize. When she was letting the hands go, they were landing. Right, weren't they? Absolutely. A couple nice body shots as well. Good luck to the abs, yes. though, right? <laughs> Very tight corner over there, drenched everywhere. <laughs> Here we go, round number three. Both girls picking up that pace a little bit yep. more. Urgency here, we have a world title. Yep. Two very worthy opponents, worked hard to get where they are. Tying up in the clinch here. Kim smart to get herself Kim off Kim of trying to there. control it, but then throw those elbows. Yep, both girls looking for elbows in here. And Kim just tying it up. Nice outside leg kick. And a right hand from Celeste. And right knee. And an elbow over the top from Kim just skimming past on Celeste's face. And again, another one. Sneaking those elbows in. Yep. Celeste just sort of pushing her off, trying to create space for the elbow, which did land. Kim locking her arms up. and clinch. I like when um, Kim changes her, that guard in the clinch. She always throws a little elbow in. Yeah, it's very clever work on the outside because she may have the outside position, but she's still throwing elbows and striking from it. Uh, Celeste loving uh, that body rip. Yeah, overhand to a body rip was uh, having some effect there. But uh, Kim's so strong, holding her back with the teeth. The teeth to create space from Celeste. Boy. Oh, nice little outside kick there from Celeste. And Heard Kim the power. The on the inside. With knee up the middle. Good flesh just looking to lock those arms up. Kim trying to create there some space go. here. So a nice elbow over the top there from Kim. Uh, Kim nearly taking the back, but Celeste didn't let her have it. Nice little uppercut. Ten seconds. See the elbow over the top twice there from Kim. Just not quite landing. And again. Good round, ladies. Wow. Kim's taking some deep breaths over there. You can see that this pressure is, is definitely making her work. And, and it's hard being inside the clinch with somebody like that. He's just constantly. All right, who wants it. some gloves? Put and your hands up. What? Who wants some gloves? Looks like a bit of a so mouse less, underneath. Yeah, definitely there's a mouse underneath that left eye. So those the elbows are having some effect from. And we got a shirt. Kim, which is good. Who wants a shirt? It might be a crop top.
Both girls are breathing pretty hard. Kim seems to be recovering okay now. They've got a lot of ice going on Celeste over here on the side because she's been wearing those kicks. It's very the style of what Celeste is used to though, being drenched, ice going everywhere, yeah. everything being rubbed. It's just, just chaos. yeah. <laughs> it's high corner chaos. You got Chris Johnson over there, bit of asso, want a sip of water. Yeah. Let's try. Open up, you're going to be yep. fine. <laughs> and that's what Kim is. Yep, absolutely. You know, they work incredibly well together, and she said that he pushed her a lot for this camp, and that's the same as every camp, you know? Absolutely. She does the work. So they're going to have no trouble getting to the five rounds here, but. Oh, we know Celeste over in Thailand, you know what they go through. You know their training regime, you know the runs that they do and and who she'd be training with and the amount of time she spends on that canvas. Yep. I think Kim's doing a very good job of just Second stepping down. off to the side and, and trying to attack from that side on the outside leg because Celeste is just this continual walk forward pressure. Maybe planting her feet and going an upward elbow may be a good mm -hmm. ticket, but she might get one back of her <laughs> Round four, here we go, championship round. Nice, good combination there from Kim, going inside and outside, hands and in feet. Celeste just backing her up into the corner. Oh, nice elbow from Kim over the top there. Just like the way Kim out sneaks of out of that corner. Yep. Yeah, it's clever the work she's doing there. And Celeste is going hard, following those just shots and just throwing whatever she can at her, but Kim is also throwing it right back. Big knees. Both girls just locking on so tight in that clinch. And Celeste is doing the right thing there. What she's trying to do is just break Kim's posture to get her hips back so she can pull her head down to knee. Nice knee there from Kim. Locks her up again. Big outside knee from Kim. Answered back by Celeste. And again, Kim just laying her weight down on her, trying to nullify any strikes that she could throw. But she's getting some knees up, Celeste. She's going to just keep those hips in tight so Celeste can't throw those knees up. Yep. And again, another knee up there again from the inside from Kim. Nice turn there from Kim and clever from Celeste to keep her hips inside and just stay right with her. 30 Very seconds. Very intelligent clinching here. And Kim looking almost to get the back of Celeste. And how in. long it's going because yep. it's not being broken because the girls are working. Yep. The combination nice combination there. there from Kim. She's doing such a good job at hit the punches fast and then finish with that leg chop. Really put a punctuation mark on the end of it. Ten Celeste seconds. Definitely does. She is trying to be inside this clinch with Kim, but she's eating some elbows for her trouble. Yep. And they're about knee for knee on the inside there. All right, well, we're going to see the final round in this fight. So what do you this think? is going to be one that they cannot back off on. I think yep. girls are having a close fight, and this round needs to be taken ridiculously seriously. Yeah, they aren't taking the others. Yeah, they need to go Big all out. Big shout out for yep. the ring boys for the last time tonight. Yeah, we, they need to sort of put everything on the line. There is a world title here. Here, they need to dig deep and just give it everything that they have. And I'm got. sure that's coming from the corners. Yeah. I think we need to see the power, and they need to be busy. Yep. Mind you, I like, do like watching them both in that clinch. <laughs> well, see, it's, it's an incredible chess game, the clinch, and it's hard to watch sometimes from the outside if you don't understand what positioning they're looking for. But essentially, you, you are effective in the clinch if you're dominating the positioning so that the other person can't strike, and you're... Uh, positioning yourself to set them up for a strike of your own. Yep. So a lot of that where you're trying to get your hands inside their hands as close as you can to their neck so you can pull them down, get their hips back and create space to strike in. And both of these girls are so intelligent in there it's really hard for either one of them to get inside. Yep. Uh, Kim did almost get Celeste back in that last clinch exchange which would be a very tough position for, for Celeste to be in. Uh, it's one of the sort of cardinal sins of clinching is to give up your back, but it, it happened right at the end of the round and it wouldn't be a scoring technique.
Second down. All right, second, second down from our fifth and final round in a world championship fight. Let's go, girls. Championship round. And an all-girl fight show. Yeah, Celeste walking forward with urgency and Kim throwing everything she's got into these shots. Knee on the inside from oh. Celeste and she eats an elbow. Kim striking hard out of that beautiful teeth slander there. Oh, she's there really, we go. She has cut it. her. She has definitely cut her with an elbow. That is a big, <laughs> lots of blood She's going to be able to face. taste that. Yep. And Kim yeah, knows Kim it. Knows Kim it. wants more of it. Oh, we're going nice to get coated. <laughs> <laughs> big, beautiful teeth there from Kim as Celeste is walking forward. Celeste just is coming in hard and fast, and Kim is doing the exact right thing. Keep using that footwork, stepping off to the outside, get away from that. Look at that blood flying everywhere. Kim is looking to open that face up. Smiling at her. Kim is not bothered. How much excitement would you get in a world title fight when you can see yeah. your opponent looking like that? Absolutely. Knowing that you've cut them, knows that you've caused that damage, know that she's coming forward, looking to strike because she knows she's got to do something big here. And Kim yeah. is just trying to pick her off. That is a face full of blood. It really is. <laughs> it is an absolute horror show. It's on my hand. And your phone. Oh, Kim's oh, going for more. Throwing, throwing bombs. Kim. Oh, Kim's loving it. And Celeste is still hunting yeah, down. Still she does forward. not She's care. Absolutely not backing down. She is coming in strong to finish this fight. Kim throwing another elbow over the top. I am fighting for a world title, and I'm not stopping. Big teep again from Kim. She is doing such a good job to keep Celeste back as she walks into these teeps. Tearing Final apart that body. Seconds. All the energy out of her. Oh, a big elbow oh, again. from Kim, stepping to the outside for a leg kick. I'm looking beautiful at Kim's kick. corner and the smiles beautiful are full of delight. Oh, Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Well, let's see where that cut is. Yeah, it's sort of in the hairline is it, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for him. Yes. What a fight. After five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All judges voted unanimously for your winner and your new world WBC light flyweight champion from the red corner, Kim Lil K. Townsend! All right. Kim, what's going through your mind? Tell me how you feel. I'm just ecstatic, hey, that was so awesome. It's been a long time in the making. I mean, you had a, you know, you were pushed up, you were doing good defense, good counter jabs, and then you broke her open in the fifth, and then all of a sudden blood's everywhere. We all loved it here, man. Like, what does this mean to you? Oh, man, like, I've been doing this for, like, oh, 12 years or something. Um, but everyone wants the WBC world title, and I finally got one, so... <laughs> you got fans there. You got fans here. You got fans there. The militia family is out in full force tonight. What's next? What's next for you? Um, oh, there's a few things in the pipeline, but you have to wait and see. Oh, I like it. Guys, give it up for your new world champion.